So today we're going to talk about time. Your time is all you really have on this planet. And the reason why I'm talking about time in this video is because time is very important. And the quality of time is the quality of life. The quality of how you spend your life here in the fleeting moment of maybe a hundred max years if you live a good life. Or if you live in a city where there are CO2 emissions and different types of diseases and most people not making it to 100 anymore, then you have about maybe 75 years, which is the average length of a man's life in today's world. And I don't know if a woman's life is more or less. But the reason why I'm making this video is because this movie, as you see on the screen right now, has been calling me to watch it. I've been getting signals watch this movie watch this movie talk about this talk about and i said i'll watch it so i decided to re-watch this movie because i watched this movie when i was a kid so i decided to re-watch this movie and get the downloads i needed to receive to make this video to open and enlighten you about your life this movie as you can see on the screen is called in time basically as you can see the hand in the movie is where if you haven't watched the movie, I suggest you go watch it, uh, first of all. But just for a quick summary, the movie is just about instead of money, we spend time. People spend time. Everybody's born with one year. And once you turn 25, your time starts ticking, basically. And you have one year on your hand, right? Automatically, everyone is blessed with one year when they're born. And once you turn 25, you don't age any longer and you have one year on your hand. And you have to go to work. When you go to work, instead of collecting money, you collect time. Right? But in our own world, in our own universe, in our own timeline, it's money. Right? If you get what I'm saying. So that's the whole concept of the movie. And what I want you to understand is that this movie is similar to the reality we have right now. There's no difference. But instead of your arm, it's just a piece of paper to indicate how much time you have. Whether it's how much time you have to your rent is due, which is a month. Most people have a month. People cannot sit down, like some people cannot sit down and relax for a month. Because your rent is due in a month. And if you don't make any money within that month, you're going to be kicked out and you have no time. Right? You have to... Start working harder to even build back up that renter's credit and get the new apartment and all that good stuff, right? The frustration that comes with that. And if you're lucky to be living with your family or you have a house of your own that you own, which is great, you have more time, right? But this is the concept of this movie and the life that we live. So I suggest you go watch this movie. And one thing that I picked up from this movie is that... So... Regular and poor people in this movie, they don't have time, obviously, right? They're, they're working to get time. They, they, they struggle day by day to earn a living, which is like they make their time each and every day. They work. They give eight hours to get eight hours, and they wake up to go back to work to give that eight hours again to get more eight hours. So basically, they're living day to day unless they run out of time and they die, which is typically the reality of most people in the world today most people in the world today you see people that are working three jobs like the only time they see their bed is to sleep or the only time they see their house is to rest and they're back buying time by going into work clocking in clocking out and the relevance of this movie is that during the play of the movie a rich person who had more time on their hands said something which is very, very, very important. Said this. Rich people have a lot of time, but they don't get to live. And poor people don't have time, but they get to live as well. But they get to live, they get to enjoy, they get to party, they get to do all these nice things, they get to have fun, they get to watch football. You get to do all these things that are maybe distractions, but they still don't have time. They still have to clock into work. They still have to go back to work the other day. But rich people, they wake up. They have a lot of time. They don't have to rush. They don't have to run. And another point is like running. In the movie, 
poor people had to run. So it was a sign that if you were poor, you would be seen running. So running was literally a sign of poverty in the movie. Running around and being in a rush was a sign of poverty. And do you see how that relates today? If you had all the money you could possibly want in your life right now, you wouldn't run. You just wake up, you take things slow, you drink your coffee. You have $100 million in the bank. You're going to drink your coffee slower. You're going to sit down, maybe sleep in longer. You're going to spend more time relaxing and living a fruitful life and enjoying every moment, right? Because you have all the money you desire. You have everything you want. But the beautiful thing about the life that you live right now, which is the same thing, like I said, instead of time on your hands, it's physical paper money, is that even if you run out of money, you just don't die. But in this movie, when they run out of time, they just die. Right? So I'm making this video to show you and open your mind and have this discussion with you that will help you think about how you spend your time, how you live your life. The little 75 years, and mind you, the first few early stages of those years you're a kid and the last stages of those years you're old and you can't really do much so you really have about maybe 50 years 60 years in between where you can live a fulfilling life and if you don't choose who you want to be what you want to do how you want to feel and you spend your time dwelling and chasing and wanting the things of this physical world where it's like i'm not saying it's bad to want to buy fancy things and desire pleasure but is it worth the exchange of your time is it worth that is it worth that exchange where you see people like you can see somebody driving a mercedes or they they get a mortgage and they own their house they, they have a mortgage on their house and they never get to sleep in the house because they spend 120 hours of working 120 hours going to pay for that house it's kind of like you've attached the rope to your neck where you're, you're stringed along with the thing that you wanted so bad that you have to give your time in exchange for that thing that you wanted but isn't truly the thing that we all want is more time don't you want more time what is more valuable, the, the Gucci bag or or the time? Time to actually wear the Gucci bag. <laughs> the time you wear the Gucci bag, right? That's more valuable. <clears throat> that's more valuable than anything in this world. Time is more valuable than anything in this world because that's all you have. The moment your time stops on earth, you're done. You're dead. You're gone. It's over. Time's up. So for me, the way I like to live my life, I like to live my life by buying back my time. I I, I decided to, to learn how to live with less and do more with less. Do more with less because when I had all these things that I was attached to, like I, I used to live in an apartment, I used to... I used to have a, I used to finance my car. I used to have all of that stuff. I was on a time clock where if I didn't meet up, I wouldn't be able to pay for all these things that I have to keep my life looking like the way I wanted it, right? Which is the trap, the credit system, right? It's a credit system. They give you things in advance. Oh, you can have a house. You can have a car. Even if you, these days, even if you want a phone, you can get a phone on credit. But what is the cost of that phone? You have a credit card. You use your credit card to pay for meals. You use your credit card to go to parties, buy bottles in the club. But later on, you have to go back and give 12-hour shifts for 365 days for 60%, for 90% of your life just to keep up. So I, I was able to detach myself from that reality by selling my car, by moving back home, <laughs> by
by letting go of those things that I thought would fulfill me in exchange for what? For more time to discover who I am. Ask yourself this, a life of fulfillment where you are living and expressing your purpose or it looks like you're happy. You have, you have all the things that makes you look like you're doing well, but you're having to give all your time in exchange for that. Or time, or or you have time on your hands to actually think and discover your purpose in life. I think I would always pick a life of purpose where I can have time to actually self-reflect and look inward and say, "Who, who am I? Who am I? Because, like I said, most people now, you see them, it's a credit system. You can get a car, just make a down payment, and you pay a, you pay something every month. There's a monthly plan. You pay it every month. Your, your rent is due every month as well. Your credit card bill is due every month. Even if you have a six-figure salary, you see a lot of people saying, oh, I, I make six figures, but at the end of the month, I don't know where it's gone. I don't know where my I don't know where my money goes. It's all gone. My money's all gone. Why? Because they're exchanging it for that life. It's an exchange. You're giving it up for that life. You're giving it up. You're giving it up. You have the car. You only drive the car to the work. You only drive the car to work. You only drive the car to you only stay in an apartment when it's time to sleep, but after the apartment or some people work from home now so you're literally your work is literally paying for your office too right you have a six figure figure six figure salary you move to a more expensive condo right so your your rent is 2000 which is 80% of your paycheck so your paycheck is gone every month so basically the money you're getting you're spending so your whole life plus Unless you're doing something you love, and this is this job is something you love. Unless this job is something you love and you're really enjoying what you're doing, then it makes sense. But if it's a job where you know you're just doing it for the money and to keep up with the bills and the lifestyle that you're living, then trust me, I suggest you just learn to live with less. So just you, you let go so that you can have. <laughs> because if you are able to let go and start over and discover yourself and be like, who do I want to be? Genuinely, who do I want to be? I want to be wealthy and these are the things that I have to do to get there. But I don't want to feel rushed. I don't want to run. I want to take my time. I want to have time to actually think and plot in a positive direction towards who I want to actually be. In this movie, the age was 25, but most most times in our generation, the age is 18, maybe 25, 21. Most people graduate university around 21 to 25. You graduate and you're thrown into the world. The first thing you want to do is get a car with the, with the finance. And the second thing you want to do is get a nice apartment, a nice condo or an apartment building that's 80% of your paycheck each year. Those things are traps on your time. You're exchanging your time. And trust me, these videos are not for everyone. These videos are not for everyone. This video is for you. You that is taking time to watch this. This video is for you. Because the thing is that when I used to watch videos like this that were there to motivate me and help me escape the trap of the world or the matrix, or say, I thought like, oh, everybody's watching this. But no, everybody's not watching this video right now. You are watching this video. And you are watching it for a reason because you want to be different. You know you are different. You know you are different and you want to live a different life that doesn't involve you chasing time. It doesn't involve you chasing time over and over and over and over and over again every day. You're living a repetitive life just to keep up a lifestyle. 
you don't feel fulfilled, you don't feel the purpose, you feel empty inside, you feel like your life is passing you by, this video is for you. It's not for everyone else. So you need to understand deeply that you need to give yourself more time to discover who you are because you are exchanging your time for the things you have that are not serving you, that are not filling that void, that are not giving you purpose. I hope this makes sense, Ray. Really. And if anything, I suggest you just go and watch this video, this movie. You watch this movie and you think on it and you ponder on it the importance. Because the thing about it is when you think about being wealthy and what wealthy people do, when you think about what wealthy people do, if you had all the money you desired tomorrow, most of you say, um, I'll buy cars, I'll buy clothes, I'll have all the girls, I'll party. Trust me, that gets boring too. That gets boring too. You realize that you can be a billionaire. You can live the life of a billionaire today. For instance, Mark, Mark Zuckerberg used to wear the same clothes and just go to work and drive the same car. He didn't drive a Lambo. He just kept a simple life, right? He just kept a simple life because he wanted to be modest or whatever. He could afford anything. But at the end of the day, he, he's just in a body like you, in a place, in a time. He still eats food. He still drinks water. He still shits and pisses. <laughs> Just like you. So the same experience that he has, you can have. If you just got back your time. If you just used your money carefully. Every time you got your money, you used it more carefully and you used it to buy yourself more time instead of throwing it all away. And, and indulging in credit. I really hope this makes sense. I want to wrap it up here because I think I've gotten the point. And I think I've put the downloads that I received out there. And if you understand these two things on the screen right now, you go watch this movie and you reflect on your life and your spending choices and how you're spending your time come back to this video and re-listen to what I have said. Reevaluate how you want to live your life because it's only a short period of 50 years. And trust me, I'm living my life to the fullest. And the fullest is not, it doesn't mean it's turning up, partying, getting drunk, smoking. It doesn't mean all of that. It means actually having time to even do nothing. Having time to do absolutely nothing. I don't wake up feeling like I have to get anywhere. I have to rush anywhere. Wouldn't you say I'm, I'm richer than Jeff Bezos? <laughs> if I can wake up and just do nothing. Be, be nowhere. Talk to no one. You understand? If I can do that, if I can, if I can have time, I am extremely wealthy. That's how I see it. Then if we go into other things like eating healthy, um, watching your weight, then you start to escape even more. Because when you eat healthy, then you spend less. When you don't drink alcohol, when you don't smoke, when you don't party, when you don't go outside of yourself, you take care of your body, you take care of your mind, you start to buy back more time because you need less things. You want less things. You don't buy all these fancy clothes and shoes and different things that are there to show off to other people that you are doing well. When you don't participate in that, then you start to free yourself. You start to get more freedom of time. <laughs> and you escape the matrix on a deeper level. I hope you understand what I'm trying to tell you. But this video is for you and for no one else. Boogie signing off.